the iStent video cassette pedagogy an innovative teaching guide for MIGS platform the G1 series the glide the ideal implantation technique before implantation it is imperative to identify the angle structures here we are implanting the G1 iStent into the trabecular meshwork with a proper gliding technique to ensure the proper placement within the angle following which we can release the trocar and assess the stable placement of the eye stent within the trabecular meshwork and a functioning trabecular outflow system can be seen by the blood flow within the collector channel from the position of the eye stent the cheese wire the management of trabecular meshwork cheese wiring every trabecular meshwork has a different consistency Here we have a case of a very friable trabecular meshwork which cheese wires on the multiple attempts for implantation as seen here. With every reattempt the trabecular meshwork gives away. So we had to change our maneuver into a more firm and forced glide into the trabecular meshwork for a proper implantation and a stable placement of the eye stent. the nudge confirming the position of the eye stent implant here we have another case of the g1 eye stent which is being implanted into the angle with a proper gliding technique following which we are not able to identify the positioning of the eye stent within the trabecular meshwork as shown here in such cases with slow and controlled maneuvers with the dialer as shown here the iris can be nudged gently to identify the scleral spur and identify the position of the eye stent within the trabecular meshwork the rebound tackling the eye stent rebound due to trocar malfunction In this case following the successful gliding implantation of the eye stent into the trabecular meshwork due to the trocar malfunction the eye stent rebounds during the opening of the claws of the trocar So to properly reattempt an implantation the eye stent was retrieved using the trocar and keeping in mind the trocar malfunctioning The eye stent needs to be released in a proper and controlled fashion as shown here. Once inserted, the claws needs to be opened completely before retrieving the trocar. Following which, the eye stent can be gently tapped to ensure its stable positioning. G1 implant plus Kahook dual blade goniotomy. the combined MIGS Here we have a case of an G1 eye stent implantation which was successfully implanted into the trabecular meshwork Following which an additional MIGS procedure was performed the Kahook dual blade goniotomy on either side of the implantation at least 1 to 2 clock hours apart to increase the outflow via the trabecular meshwork the g1 implant plus bang combined migs similarly in this case with the implantation of a g1 eye stent an additional migs procedure was done Here we did a bent ab interno needle goniectomy on either side of the implant at least 1 clock hour apart to ensure an additional outflow via the trabecular meshwork. The G2 series dimpling and blanching For proper placement of the G2 eye stent we need a proper dimple at the angle depicting good firmness to ensure that the eye stent is well placed within the trabecular meshwork 
and additionally a second eye stent is placed in the similar manner at least 1 to 2 clock hours apart. Here we can see the two eye stents adjacent to each other via the limbus. And additionally we can see an area of paralimbal blanching which depicts a successful outflow. Lost but found. Correct method for retrieval of dislodged eye stent. In this case, due to improper dimpling technique, that eye stent was implanted superficially. And hence the eye stent was dislodged. Continuing the procedure, a second eye stent was implanted with the proper dimpling technique. Following the implantation, an eye stent retrieval was done by re-threading the eye stent via the trocar. But as the sleeve of the trocar was not completely closed when removing it out of the wound, the eye stent was lost. As we can see here, it is an empty trocar without the eye stent. The eye stent was found within the corneal wound. And again a re-attempt at retrieval was done by a re-threading of the eye stent into the trocar. And this time there was complete closure of the trocar by the sleeve before removing it out of the eye. And here we can see a re-threaded eye stent in the trocar. Following which the second implantation of the eye stent was done with proper dimpling technique ensuring that the eye stent was well placed within the trabecular meshwork. Here the data shows adequate reduction of intraocular pressure post-operatively. Practicing in the ophthalmic metaverse, the novel 3D simulator. With the use of hand tracking in the HoloLens, a simulated training module can be created. The 3D eyeball model gives a real-time simulation of the angle structures to practice the implantation of the eye stent. During the simulated training on proper implantation of the eye stent in the trabecular meshwork, the indicator lights up as green. And this training improves the agility of the doctor for implantation of the eye stent in the angle. Thank you.